Hey guys, this is your girl Alicia Pink and welcome back to my channel. But if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So, for my lovely Aries, this is your reading. We're going to get right to it guys. Okay, this is for the week of December the 8th to December the 15th. Um, a new moon is on Monday, December the 14th. We're going to tap into that energy as well and see what is the week ahead for my Aries. What's going on with my Aries? Okay, so Aries, take your 3D breaths, actually, angels, actually, spirit guys. What is the energy surrounding me this week? What do I need to know? What do I need to hear? What do I need to listen? What do I need to look out for? All that good stuff, okay, Aries? So, do that. I'm going to shuffle the cards, okay? And I'm going to call in my angels, my guides, my spirit guides for a clear message for Aries. Okay, guys? Aries. Before I do that, I'm actually going to be using this new deck that I got. Um, well, it's an oracle that is called Believe in Own Magic believe in your own magic oracle deck i just want to pull out at least one card to see what is the overall energy for you guys okay what is the overall energy for aries okay overall energy for aries okay one card kind of sort of came out Ooh, Aries. Okay, now you got the evil queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. So you might have some sneaky deaky people around you, Aries. Um, some sneaky people around you, Aries. Hmm. That evil queen. Right, watch the people that surround you. You don't know what's going on. You know, there there are always people that laugh in your face, smile in your face, but wish your downfall right behind your back. Look out for those people. Or it just might be people who's a little jealous of your success, jealous of what you got. You never know. Okay, let's see. Let's look more into that. Clarification for Evil Queen from the Aries. Clarification for Evil Queen from the Aries. Okay. Hmm. Are you quiet, Aries? Do you keep to yourself, but you, but people still have a problem with, um, with you keeping to yourself? I know how that feels. I know what it's like. It's like people have a problem with people that that keep to themselves, and not in everybody's business. You're probably a loner. You're probably a quiet person. You just don't know why people don't like you or you just don't miss well it's because your third eye is open do you see her she's alone she got the moon on her third eye your third eye is open you see the world for what it really is you know what's going on you know people ain't ish you know that this world is fake okay let's get some more what is what's the energy surrounding my aries for this for this week energy surrounding my aries for this week okay you got the two of disc okay the two of a disc aries so with the two of disc aries you balance you need some balance in your life you know balance out your spiritual side as well and this one just popped right out okay you got the full card you are no one's full people probably think you're full but you're no one's full but you also are going to be starting a new journey but don't be a fool though because don't be a fool as well you know thinking that everyone is nice everybody isn't nice everybody doesn't have the same heart as you Remember that. Everybody does not have the same heart as you. Everyone doesn't think the same. Everybody doesn't love the same. Everybody, everyone is different. You are uniquely made and that's perfect. And you're perfect in your own little way. 
clarification okay what else is my aries need to look out for what other energies my aries need to know about okay you got the nine of cups so with this nine of cups aries hmm, yeah a bunch of people is definitely your way and you look at this all these these beautiful women they are alone you know except for the two of us you know sometimes there's nothing wrong with spending time alone and being by yourself and all you need is that one good friend that's going to have your back I don't know, it just popped out of my head out of nowhere. There's nothing wrong with being alone. You know, maybe you probably just lost a friend that someone is hating on you. A friend that was a friend of me. And now you're like, oh, that was my only friend. I'm not myself. But baby, you got new journeys. You, you, could, you could do all that all by yourself. Okay, bad all by yourself. You, you got the magician card. You're good. You are good. Okay, you're good. You're great. All right. Master Manifester. You got this boo look. You got the world card. Hello. Whoever is hating on you. I know why they're hating on you because they see how beautiful you are. They see how fantastic you are by yourself. You don't need anybody. You're good. Okay. You're good. You are a hard worker. You stand alone. You need nobody. You're good. What else is this? Oh. Then you have the two of the two of cups. Okay, the two of cups. You're beautiful. So I feel like with the the two of cups, you are most definitely working with your divine masculine, the divine feminine energy, as well as you probably have a beautiful love relationship with your partner, okay? With your partner who really, really loves you and will do anything for you, okay? Let's get some clarification cards for my Aries, okay? Clarification cards. Clarification for the hermit. Clarification for the hermit clarification you got the hang man the hang the hang one <laughs> yes go within you are extremely enlightened you are one with your spiritual side and then we're going to get clarification for two of this clarification for two of this clarification for two of this you got the death card you got the death card with the two of death yeah, things are ending. New beginnings are ahead of you. Maybe whatever you feel like you're unbalanced, well, you're about to get back on balance. So let's get clarification for the full card. Clarification for the full card. Clarification for the full card. You have the King of Swords. Oh, yes, my Aries. You're not here to play any games. You're going to show people who you truly are. People are not going to try to, let's put it this way, push you, push, put, view you as a pushover, thinking that they can talk to you kind of way. Okay? You might be dealing with a Gemini. A Gemini who feel like they could say whatever you want. Maybe it's a boss or something like that who's a Gemini who has... Or just the air sign, Libra, or somebody like that, who feel like they just have, they could talk to you in your kind of way, but you're not here for it. You're like, not today, boo, and not today. <laughs> you know, let's get some clarification for the Nine of Cups. Oopsies, it just came right out. And you have your Aries, baby. You a warrior, honey. Okay, this is going to be like this, this new, you standing alone on both of these this is new to you because you're probably probably been going through codependency um probably with a friend or a relationship with someone that you were close with and this is your first time standing alone but you got this you are a warrior you are brave you are brave clarification for the magician card Ooh, yeah you got two of Two of pentacles again. Yeah. Balancing out a relationship. Yeah, with the codependency, you're good. You know, it's it's okay to stand alone sometimes. You are powerful by yourself. 
I don't, a lot of people feel like they need other people to, you know, be around or clarification or just, they just need that. They just need to be around people, you know, and, but it's okay to be alone. It's, it's okay. You don't have to, to rely on other people or codependent, codependent on other people to, to feel love or to feel like you fit in. You're good by yourself, baby. Okay. Clarification for the world card. Clarification for the world card. Clarification for the world card. A clarification for the world card. A clarification for the world card. A clarification for the world card. Okay, yeah. Okay, look, you've been through some pain. You've been through the struggle. You've been through the loss. You've been through it, okay? You've been through it. You know what it feels like to be alone, to feel trapped, to lose things. But you need to stop focusing on that, okay? Stop focusing on that because you are a boss. You got this. You are amazing, okay? You're powerful. Look at this card. Hello? Does this not scream beautiful, powerful, amazing, bad bitch? Okay, that's who you are. All right, you're beautiful. Okay. Clarification for Ten of Wands. Ooh, all these cards then came out. I mean, clarification for Ten of Wands. Clarification for Ten of Wands. Clarification for Ten of Wands. Ooh, another two. Two of Swords, you need to make that decision go within. You know, make the right choice, make the right decision, okay? But I really feel like with this reading, this has to do, a lot of twos came out. So this has to do with a person, probably a friendship. Probably a friendship or probably a relationship, a partnership with someone. Okay, clarification for two of cups. 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 Okay, you got the hermit again. Hello, is this is not clarification that it, that you can stand alone? So I feel like with this partnership, this was probably a partnership, maybe a love relationship. Someone that was toxic probably was toxic for you. You know, because you got the evil queen, so you probably was toxic for you. But it's okay for you to part ways and stand alone and go within, okay? And be by yourself. You started with the hermit, you ended with the hermit. Baby, you got this. You got this, okay? Alrighty. Let's get some affirmations for my Aries, alright? Affirmations for my Aries. Clarification for Aries. Some affirmations for my Aries. Okay. You got I am love. You got I am aware. You got I am discerning. Okay, so Aries, Aries, my Aries, my Aries, my Aries. I am love. I may not have always made the right choices, but I did my best. I have so much love to give and everyone around me can feel it. I, I am given a clean slate every single day to be the best version of me that I can be. I am forgiven, I am love. I am aware when I pay attention to my surroundings, I can feel appreciation for everything. I see so much beauty in the world. Being aware means living in the present 
and fully experiencing my life in the here and now I am aware. Then you have I am discerning. I love myself enough to say no to people in situations that don't serve my highest good. I am discerning. Yes, speak that into existence. Oh, I like that message. Okay, say no to people and things that do not serve you. But bye, you gotta go. You're out of here. Okay, let's get some more affirmations for my Aries. Okay. There is a storm of, there's a stream of love supporting my dreams. And then you have, I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. Yes, choose some love, Aries. You deserve love. Everyone deserves love, okay? Everyone deserves love, including you. You deserve love. Okay, and then you have the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Yes, have fun. Have a good time, okay? Let's get an overall message um, for my Aries, overall affirmation for my Aries, okay? Okay, do you have personal growth? Personal growth, okay, this is amazing, okay. As I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away like training wheels on a bike they help me get to where i am but now that i have can, now that i can ride i don't need those slow and crummy wheels except when i'm making bike analogies remember this frog is all by himself aries okay you are growing you are learning your third eye is opening you are coming more into yourself and sometimes you have to let go of people who are holding you back and some people don't get it they don't understand that you're changing and that you're growing but it's okay if you can't take everybody on the ride with you sometimes you have to do it alone if this not confirmation i don't know what else is aries okay i hope you enjoyed your reading Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Also, if you want a personal reading from me, I do readings via Etsy shop. My Etsy shop, my link, my, my shop is in the link description down below. And um, I am still doing a virtual vision board. If you want to join, you know, the tickets are down below for you guys to join. And yeah, thank you guys for having, thank you guys for watching. I'm about to say thank you guys for having me. Like, where am I at, huh? Thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful day. Also, follow your girl on Instagram. Thank you guys. Peace out.